we have a new view. I thought I'd show off a bit more of the, the shop. Um, so I'm going to do a little review on the Mulberry Trout Bag. Um, the lighting's a little bit different here, so I'll see what I can do and lighten it up, but otherwise. So this is a early 2000s, late 90s uh, Mulberry Bag. This particular one is what they call in the biz, dead stock. Um, it's never been used. The handle is as if it still had its cardboard setting on. It's never been put on shoulder. It's a really cool piece for a collector. Um, so it's got your classic mulberry uh, Czech tartan um, print. Um, it's in, is it an oil cloth? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's an oil cloth. Um, like a grained oil cloth and then it's got all the leather the leather trim now on most bags this would have um very much like louis vuitton this would have darkened with the oil in your hands or just general dirt but as you can see because it's never been used it's absolutely immaculate you've got the um piped edging which they've um laid up with the leather there you've got your mulberry brass serial number plaque on the back hanging uh buckle attached onto the shoulder strap so you can adjust that one slightly if needed you've got the embossed tree logo on the front with the faux faux buckle fastens they're actually on these little poppers so you can unpop them you've got the gold brass hardware um which is a really nice addition to this bag because it gives it a little bit of something something because um, it is a very much everyday sort of small it's small you can see comparison to size there it's quite a little dinky one um so you unflap it and it's got the matching check lining in cotton um you've got your mulberry vintage logo there which makes me think actually seeing that one is um a later 90s bag um and then it's got the front two pockets here for additional usage on the um, inner pocket, I can't really get in there to show you, but there's a stamp, an initial stamp. I just wanted to explain what that is to you. The initial stamp is um, back in a day where they were, um, they're still handmade, but back in the day where they were like more individualized um, and you had certain makers for certain bags doing certain jobs. They used to stamp their initials, whoever finished off the bag. And I think that's really, really nice little personal, uh, personal touch. Um, for the more vintage pieces so don't be put off when you see that i know some bags have a double zero that means they're a double sub that means there will be something wrong with them um it doesn't really affect the bag um if you know what's wrong with it that issue because it would have been reduced in price that issue cannot be repaired at the factory repair shop um but another issue could so if it was double subbed uh because this buckle is broken you couldn't have that buckle fixed but if this plaque came off you could have that fixed um so it's not the end of the world um but it's knowing what the fault is with your bag and back in the day more vintage bags will say imp 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 which is double imperfection um and it's the same thing you can get different levels of subs so one zero two zeros um, but the letters are just the maker's names and they'll always be on like the leather plaque inside. Um, while we're on that subject, if you ever get a cross uh, through um, the leather patch inside, that means it was a sale purchase. So it was sold at a reduced price, uh, normally because they were returns or had something wrong with them. But once again, if you know what that issue is, it also means they can't be repaired um, at all for any issue because they were sold at a much reduced price all the money for that goes to charity and it's just a special thing for the staff in the factories who have to make your lovely bags and uh sometimes can't afford them etc to have the chance to own the thing they're making which i actually think is a really nice thing um they've stopped it in um Quite a lot of the different places now but the factories still do get it um the johnny coca bags they have quite a few slip through the net that haven't been crossed when they should have been crossed so just be like wary um about that on the on the market but if they got a slash just means they were sold at a reduced price and they cannot be sent for repair um but yeah that's a really little cute vintage trout bag they're called they come in different sizes and they re-released one this year in black scotch grain um but this one is the oil cloth finish um oh 
I think it's on the website. If not, I'll pop it on the website for you and you can see the colours in the true light. Um, it's a little bit darker facing this way because I come away from the windows, but I wanted to show off how nice the shop looks from that angle, but the lighting for me isn't great. So that is the little vintage trout bag there for you, um, unused as new. Thank you.